The 37th Annual Cricket Hall of Fame's induction ceremony was held in New York City for the first time in 20 years. Departing from his signature rap and hip-hop style, Chase Cross releases his EP, Golinti. Shajuan Lobster with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson on this week's this In week, the Kitchen. We have our Szechuan lobster right here. The community spotlight Patrick's is on Madea Mohammed as she mentors aspiring teen fashion designer. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Welcome to Come Chat With Me. You don't know I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. And we're at the Hilton Hotel tonight at the Hall of Fame Cricket Inductee Ceremony, all right? And it's the first one that is keeping in New York after 20 years of inducting cricketers, all right? So hear me now? Keep it locked to come chat with me. What they are saying, bless. We're here again in 2018 to celebrate with you. We chose this year to bring the function to New York. And by all means, looking at the crowd here tonight, looking at the overwhelming support we have had, I think this was a well thought out idea and it was, it was truly a, 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 the right thing to do. So give it up for the New Yorkers in the house. The 37th Annual Cricket Hall of Fame's induction ceremony was held in New York City for the first time in 20 years. The event is usually held in its home state of Connecticut. Candidates who have retired from playing test and first class cricket for a minimum of three years and perform exceptionally during their career as well as those individuals who have made outstanding contributions to the development and growth of the sports of cricket were inducted into the 37th Annual Cricket Hall of Fame. My father, John Aaron, is an inductee uh, of the Cricket Hall of Fame, so it's a, it's a nice way to honor him, to be here with him and, and to, to honor the our country and sing and present for for everyone who's in attendance tonight and watching at home welcome you're watching come chat with me and we are at the cricket hall of fame tonight and trust me wonderful event i must say and i'm standing next to petal samuels who was inducted into the cricket hall of fame in 2015 how are you doing tonight i'm awesome thanks for having me i always think that cricket were like a men's sport growing up in jamaica you know what i mean honestly it's but actually a gentleman's sport, okay. so for women like me to be a part of cricket is such an honor. Well, the Cricket Hall of Fame was organized in 1981 as a vehicle through which we could honor those who have helped to develop the game of cricket in the United States of America and Canada. We also look at cricket players from the West Indies and other countries that play cricket for their achievements on the field and off. So we've de we decided way back in 81 that we would honor these individuals by inducting them into the world's first. We were the first Hall of Fame in the world. Since then, there are a number of Hall of Fames. I started very young days, you know, playing for Portman, and then I was selected to play for the Guyana team, and then I did well in the tournament and then I was selected to play for the West Indies. Okay. I went the first tour was India, did well and I went to England, Australia and I you know, tried to do well. I test in Australia, the only one we had yeah. when I run the fellow out and that was Titus. Cricket. It's not the game so much for me, it's the people who play cricket. I'm being inducted into the Cricket Hall of Fame, and although you might not, uh, you might be surprised, I'm not a cricket player, but I have a lot of friends in the cricket uh, sports movement, and um, about 15, 16, 17 years ago, I was introduced to cricket through mutual friends, and uh, I've been supportive in helping uh, the game of cricket. Uh, mostly under um, 
under the cover, so to speak. I haven't really been very much out outward about it, but um, I love the people who are involved in cricket, and um, there are many of them are my friends, so whatever I could do to help, I'm happy to be there for them. I'm the headlights for West Indies Cricket, and we have a number of persons who sit behind the scenes to make sure that the vision comes to, to reality. Actually, I am not really a cricketer. My cricket in Jamaica was what they call catchy shoeby in the open land. I actually played football. That's your sport? Yes, that's my sport. And I played football for Cavalier in Jamaica. Yes. Uh, but I have been inducted into the Hall of Fame this year as a broadcaster. I have been in the world of broad sports broadcasting now for going on four decades. It started in Jamaica many years ago. I played for the Jamaica youth team. I went on to play for the national senior team. Played in the leagues in England for five years and I migrated to the States, got set up in the cricket here and then I was able to play for the US team. On behalf of the Cricket Hall of Fame, Connecticut, USA, certificate of appreciation presented to the Honorable Event Club Congresswoman. I have been raised in a household where cricket is a major part of our way of life. My father prides himself on having been an outstanding cricketer in his days at Excelsior in Jamaica. And so uh, this is something that I look forward to and I'm just honored to be here with you this evening. I am getting ready to retire. And so I am passing the mantle to Roy Reed. Yeah man, come chat to me, we're in the building tonight. And trust me, running to dance master himself. What are you doing here tonight, man? Come chat with me, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. What bring you out tonight, brother? Well, you know, you know, cricket from I was yeah. a kid, from my eyes were at my knee that are from when Wapi Kill fill up. Me mm -hmm. used to play cricket, you know. <laughs> used to play cricket, man, but you know, when you leave Jamaica and you come to America, yeah. you know, it's like the lifestyle is different. True. So, you know, when I, but I went to Central Park a couple of years ago and, and played cricket. So I still, re I still remember what cricket is. <laughs> You don't know that come chat with me and we're there exclusive. Yeah. Watch my with it. Ayati inside of Manhattan. Yeah, and I don't know say it's Chase Cross EP launch. Yeah, Chase Cross, pick up yourself, congratulations. The EP are going good. What of the trucks them? Seen? So when I hear me, just keep it right as a first. Come chat with me. We're there in the house. Take a bless, we're there. Chase Cross, known for his breakout single, Better Days, followed by It's Can't Stop Us and Money We Want, releases his EP, Gully Thing. Tonight, we are in NYC, but right now, we're on the gully side. Yeah. Yeah. From the gully, you gully, I'm yeah, gully. My niggas is getting this money, cold out like a bunny. Yeah. My niggas is eating, you broke all your niggas is hungry, with am gully, so gully. Yeah. I'm yeah. 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 Chase Cross thing, EP, it's a gully thing, you know? I rate him, I love the vibe, I love the energy with Chase Cross, man. We think the EP is going to go on, what do you think? Yeah, man, yeah, man, a big, I'm a whole big tune for the EP, you know, and yeah, yeah. man, I'm going to find a different, different vibes, you know? I rate him. Yeah, man, Chase Cross. What's next from the gully? Chase Cross, big up yourself, brother. Don't tell me, I be back, I pre life from a different clock. Like what would have happened if me never pop? If my mother never said who are you stop? The brody never did a couple shop stops. Tell me who are me think like an anchor. They used to try to make links and them not answer. I sing I tell myself to sit them like cancer. The EP bad dog. We be bad. Right now, I'm happy for Chase. Yeah. Because you know it's a long time you might try. So I'm happy for Chase now.
Thing. Cheers, Cross. Big up yourself. You see it. They are represent life. Bad mind can hold me down. Bad mind can stop me now. Bad mind can stop my flow. Them a pray for me walk and buck me big toe. So them go jump in the shoes and the dollar where you make. Them go jump in the shirt and the collar where you get. You know for that collar, you know where you pay it. For everything you want, you go work and sweat. Nothing to something. We are come from days of macrin and dumpling. Get to use nothing to something. What do you think about the trucks and where you're here? Well, I'll say he's definitely on the positive vibes, you know what I mean? He ain't on no negativity. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of his records is mostly positive, you know, uplifting yourself in life and everything, you know what I mean? You know, me there and I building dog, you know what I mean? At the EP release party and things are going good right now. I like the vibe, you know what I mean? A real thing, man. Talk a little bit about the, about the EP. I mean, here we are going with it. How much trucks is on the EP? You know, the EP consists of eight trucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. We have a thing named Satisfied, the lead single we are pushing right now. You know what I mean? Thing. We have the song named Visa. We have yeah. Gully Thing. You know yeah. what I mean? We have Rail and Show. We have Paid. We have Nothing to Something. Man, we have man. Slow Motion for the ladies, them again. Yeah, me and Flex. Call up ah. and nothing and something. You know what I mean? Really we have the video out now. You can check it out on Chase Grass and Flex Vivo. You know what I mean? And the project is smooth. You know what I mean? The vibe to the project is a morally smooth, universal sound. A universal side of dance hall we bring in. You know what I mean? All right, guys, listen. Welcome to another episode. Which part are you there? In at the kitchen. I'm going to be doing a Szechuan lobster. Szechuan lobster. I'm taking it right down to the Asian cooking. Szechuan lobster, it is going to be off the chain and it's going to have a lot of ingredients, a lot of color. A lot of vibrance to it, so come and check this out. In, in the kitchen. kitchen. So right now, right here we have all of our ingredients. Over here we have red pepper, green bell pepper, onion, we have scallion, we have our thyme, we also have some spinach, and we have our Szechuan sauce right here. And we have our lobster, which already I took it out the shell. Nice and fresh, everything looking real good. Take my lobster, which is already nice and clean. I'm just gonna marinate him down, real good. This you can serve with any kind of sides. So for this one, I'm gonna leave you to select the sides that you wanna use to serve this bad boy. And you can also grill this, but I'm not gonna grill it. I'm gonna give it a nice saute so I can have some nice flavor contrast going through it and we also have a nice sauce that's also from walker's wood which i like to use and it's a jerk barbecue it's a jerk barbecue from walker's wood it's actually a new product that just came out you can use it instead of the szechuan so that'd be real good a little bit of salt not too much because you got to watch your salt intake a little bit of obey seasoning nice looking real good Beautiful, that's what I'm talking about. And then I'm gonna kind of marinate this in a little bit. Nice, beautiful. So I'm gonna leave this to marinate. And while this is marinate, I'm gonna come over here now to my oil. Nice and hot, that's what I want. I'm gonna now go with some butter, because you know I like to have that flavor in. So I want the butter to bring out the nice flavor. Then I'm gonna go with my lobster. 
and put my lobster meat in. Lobster meat is gonna cook real quick, real quick, so put all your lobster meat in. Red bell pepper, my scallion. Nice. I'm gonna go with my onion. Looking real good. And I'm gonna go with my green bell pepper. I go with my pre-cooked carrots. All right. Very colorful, flavorful meal, you know? If you look, the veg is there already, everything is there. You can almost call it a, 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 a lobster stir fry. Put in my okra, nice. As you can see, the okra are still raw. And I purposely did that because I wanted to have a nice al dente, al dente flavor to it. I don't want it to be too, too soft. I want it to have a nice chewiness going on to the okra. Nice. Nice, beautiful. And Szechuan is gonna give it a nice Korean, Korean flavor. And then at some point, after this settled down a little bit, that's when I'm gonna add my spinach in. So you talk about food with a whole lot of flavor and a whole lot of action going on for it. This is, this is that kind of dish. Here comes a bourbon now, nice. All right, you see that? That's what I want to see. So I just need that to simmer down now for about, I'll say give it a nice three minutes, a simmer. And then we're gonna take this right over the plating and presentation. Let's go, look at that, looking good. You see that flavor? You see that juice? Look at that. Picture this running over some nice rice and peas and or some white rice or some mashed potato. Looking real good, right? That's what I'm talking about. This is very simple dish. You can serve this, like I said, with some white rice. You can serve this with some rice and beans. You can serve this with some yellow rice. You can serve this with some baked potato. You can even serve this with a nice side of veg. You know, this is what we're shooting for. We're shooting for something that looks pretty, looks sexy, and tastes real good. And that's it right there. All right, guys, you see how pretty that looks. Like I tell you, every week, I'm always gonna come with something new, something exciting. And this week, we have our Szechuan lobster right here. And as I say, you can serve this with some nice white rice. You can serve this over some rice and beans. You can do this with some mashed potato. You can do this with a baked potato. You can do this with even a side of veg. And just grab yourself a what? A glass of lemonade and you're good to go. So this week, Szechuan lobster. Keep it locked. See you next week. Wish part in the kitchen. Delight in a night of truths and rights at Reggae Culture Salute with Johnny Osborne, New Kingston, many more, and Goma. And introducing Epic Order. It's an indie artist festival with a special tribute to Peter Tosh. It all happens Saturday, November 3rd at Brooklyn's Milk River, 960 Atlantic Avenue, doors at 7, short 9. Advanced tickets at event bright and local outlets. Call 718 421 6927 for info on Johnny Osborne, New Kingston, and Goma. Epic Order and many more. Milk River, November 3rd. Madea Mohammed, CEO of Madea LLC, custom clothing for women with a focus on providing a tailored experience, sponsors teen with sewing lessons as she prepares for audition at the high school of fashion industries. Looking at the machine, I know you're like, okay. <laughs> but it's not as crazy as you think. So first, just switch it on. There's a switch on the right side and back. 
Yeah, you know. So computerized, right? <laughs> So automatically, that's gonna turn on for you. You got an LED light that shows you what's happening down here all the time. So even if the lighting isn't good in the room, you can see, right? So I started the Sony sponsorship opportunity because I come from a foundation uh, and a home with a mother who, no matter what the situation was financially, she made sure that her children always had a way to you know, find these good programs with skills that we can acquire for like life um, and just still be able to participate in programs. Um, so I wanted to make sure I gave the opportunity to youth in my immediate circle as well. I started sewing when I was 11. Um, I learned, I taught myself, I watched my mom do it a few times and then I kind of just picked the technique up. And then I decided that I want to take it more seriously growing up so I continue with the skill. Um, and then I realized that there are a lot of students my age who have the same, <laughs> I guess, the same interest in it. So I wanted to give them that opportunity. Recently I started the program uh, for the reason I mentioned, but just to kind of, I, I just feel like your job isn't really done with whatever craft or skill until you're able to teach it. So that was very important to me. I started this class because I wanted to get, you know, a little more, let's say, tips on how to sew, how to create clothes. I couldn't find like no clothes to wear. And so like, I wanted to like create my own clothes, but like, I didn't really have like the tools or like the idea of how to. So thanks to my mom, you know, she came up with a, um, a helpful person and she really um, taught me the basics of how to sew and then you know going forward everything is all about me so because I wanted to do you know fashion I want to um, go to the high school called fashion industries and I think the high school would really help me in um, really uh, expanding my techniques in fashion and drawing. If you put your mind to something, you know, just go for it. Like, don't hesitate. You know, um, always stay positive. And practice makes perfect. Mark Shields, former Deputy Commissioner of Police in Jamaica and former Detective Chief Superintendent of Scotland Yard will present at the 14th annual CIN lecture series on the topic, Jamaica's Crime Monster, Can It Be Tamed? Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday Right here on CIN. See you next week. So them got your finish shoes and the dollar where you make. Them got your finish shirt and the color where you get. Me, me, me no falla falla, me no beggy beggy pet. For everything me want, me go work and sweat. Nothing to something. Man I come from the days of mackerel and dumpling. Get to youth. Nothing to something. We arise to the top car. We na be no dumb king, dumb king. Nothing to something.